tonight, it's RuPaul's Drag Race Global All-Stars. Here's a look at the best runway looks of Episode 5, Brown Town Runway. This is Reality Reflex. Before we begin, make sure that you like and subscribe so you can get all of the Drag Race and Reality TV content. Hey everyone, it's Tedley here, and each week on this review, we celebrate the best looks of the runway. Here's our picks for the best runway looks of Global All-Stars Episode 5, Brown Town Runway. Tessa Testicle is coming out and she is giving silhouette head to toe, literally. First of all, let's just start from the top. So she has a mohawk going on, which gives her the height in the hair, gives the edgy effect, giving the brown ombre color style going on to match the outfit, the runway, and the look. And then she has this amazing jacket going on, which has extreme boning to give it that edgy look with those dark edging all around it, honey. Then it's the perfect little cute skirt length, so then it shows off those legs. It gives a little bit of them thighs before it goes all the way down to the knees. And then she is giving these 70s flap going on on the bottom. But so this all in all is fierce, fabulous, fun, youthful, artistic, beautiful, edgy, and it's just so much everything. I'm just obsessed. Yes. All right, and so Galavero comes out and she is giving head to toe post-apocalyptic realness a la season four U.S. Drag Race. So she is coming down giving end of the world. She's giving Mad Max she has crazy, amazing dreadlock red hair. And then to match that, she has this crazy fucking outfit, a corseted mini dress with teeth on the titties, a fur coat, straps going down, high boots. Bitch, ooh. Girl, she got a lot on, but it all works together. For me, she is fulfilling the fantasy that she wanted to come across, which was the end of the world realness. <laughs> Eva La Queen comes out and to me, this is a toot. So she has a lovely fur coat going on just draped over her shoulders as if it was a cape to her fabulosity. And then she has this amazing little brown dress. So it just kind of is a bustier that goes above the titties. And then it is a skirt, maybe a little longer than a mini. It looks fabulous and she has the red wings in the hair. So she is giving this fabulous wealthy look to me, it pulls it off. To me, this is high glam, and so yes, bitch, slay. Pythia comes out, and she is the bitch who does not miss. So she is coming out, and she is giving elegant 1920s regal woman, a era queen coming through, yes, mama. And then she has this amazing train, which shows the Lady Gaga bear head. But so she is giving fabulous woman mixed with a little bit of camp. The fur on the hips and on the titties are in just the right place where the silhouette just pops and it's like, bam. So she is coming on this runway. She is pulling through and she is working it. Soa Demuse comes out and she is giving fan goddess. So, I mean, the titties are completely covered up with these glamorous, elegant, soft, delicate fans covered just so elegantly and beautifully. She's holding one of the fans and then she has a very short skirt, but there's so many ruffles and puffs and poofs. It looks way big on the waist, giving her an amazing silhouette. So titties look fabulous, the waist looks fabulous. And then she has a train going back with all these ruffles on this dress. So she is coming down looking elegant. The head piece, oh my God. The hair was next level. Literally, the bitch could barely keep it on her head. She was struggling through the judging, but it was worth it to pull off this iconic global all-stars look. Alyssa Edwards comes out and she is looking like a cuckoo clock woman. So she is coming out. She has a like a cuckoo clock on her head. She is giving the Alyssa Edwards facial fantasy. She is holding up a beautiful umbrella that's just very lace and sexy. And she's just giving it with the cunty poses. This outfit, it looks expensive. She looks like a mix between a pirate and a library or something, I don't even know. And not even just the headpiece, but like the hair around it is this molded design. So like, I'm just obsessed with that. This is giving so much to me. 
girl, it looks like she's gonna go on an adventure in some kind of old school book or something. Queen Khan comes out and she is giving Earth Mother Goddess. She is giving heritage outfit garment look. The headpiece, my God. The necklace, oof. The titties and the corset, my God. And also just the dress as well, the skirt amazing so head to toe like i'm just getting authenticity from this i'm getting tribute from this it is just giving mother it is giving yes honey yes god and she is working it she's owning it she is that mother goddess diva she is giving everything oh yes all right, everyone, that was our review for this week. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you like and subscribe so you'll get even more global all-stars content next week. This is Reality Reflex.